This is It Was a Thing on TV. Spoiler number one is Dr. Lee Franz. It stinks. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Minisode 5, submission 1893. The Barack Obama commemorative gold plate commercial. The Barack Obama commemorative gold plate commercial aired around late 2008 to early 2009. Well, guys, history was made in November of 2008 when Barack Obama became the 43rd man to hold the office of the presidency. No. Because no. Grover Cleveland, he was bad, elected twice as a Democrat. I'm, gonna I'm, not, go, so I'm not going to sing the rest of the president. I am going to go to my grave with this. Grover Cleveland is not two different people. But we're not here to talk about that. We're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about Barack Obama. Barack Obama. He made history. He beat John McCain in the 2008 U.S. presidential election and became the first African-American man to become president of the United States. So what happens when you have a big historical event? You have swag. You have swag. And obviously you have companies. They want to get in on this sweet action. They want to get on this historical moment. Hugh, a group called... The American Historic Society, which is best known for selling gold and silver coins on TV. Wait, are these the, are these the same people who have the Civil War chess set, or is this somebody else entirely? I think this is somebody else entirely. Okay. Yeah, I thought like the Civil War chess set was maybe not Franklin Mint, but something similar to that. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. But, the American- but I know what you're talking about. You're, you're talking about like the the the, the silver eagles. Uh, they're you know point nine 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 silver. Oh, and, point and uh, yeah, they're, they're point nine 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 pure silver or almost pure silver, and they're like legal te- uh, currency in like the Virgin uh, the British Virgin Islands or something like that, or yeah, s- some. So some Commonwealth country in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, I know about those coins. Never bought them, but I, I, I've seen their ads. Well, they decided we're going to honor this historic occasion with a special plate honoring Barack Obama. And they decided to make a commercial out of it. And boy, guys, this is bad. So we're going to. We're gonna all watch it together, okay? Okay, we're, we're gonna watch it. Watch it we're together. We're all gonna watch it together, and you're all gonna listen along to us watch this. Okay, here we go. Now you can own a piece of history commemorating the day the world changed forever. Look at all these people toasting. Historic victory. Historic victory, Trayvon. Look at that guy. He's like, oh yeah, I'm hot shit with this plate. His confident smile and kind eyes. His confident smile and oh. kind eyes. Oh, oh, he has the kind of eyes. Surrounded by the American flag. Surrounded by an American flag. And they get fireworks on the plate. Historic victory is crafted of fine porcelain. Fine porcelain. Twenty-two karat gold trim. The election date and they have the date in case you're dumb. And changes come. Changes come. Look at these kids. They're like, wow. This is weather. Seal of the American Historic Society. Look at that! Undetermined 27 electoral votes! This, certificate of authenticity this was obviously American produced Society. before they Promises called the data. I don't know. The highest quality and integrity. It comes with a display stand. A display stand. Or curio case. Or proudly hang it on any Why would you hang it on your wall? It's strictly limited to just 65 firing days. After that, the die will be destroyed oh, forever. Sad music. The die will be destroyed forever after 65 days. But there's a limit on two plates. I never thought this day would come. And now we own a piece of history. Our generation has spoken. <laughs> and now this special treasure will be cherished as a prized family heirloom. For generations to come. Yes, you can. <laughs> a piece of history authorized by the American Historic <laughs> Society. 
with bonus <laughs> and certificate of authenticity uh, for the first issue price of only $19.99. Oh, 20 bucks! Your credit card ready 20 bucks can get that plane. Plus shipping and handling. Remember, this issue has been strictly limited with only And of course, America, the, the American Historic Society is a wholly owned subsidiary of Telebrand, 79 Two Bridges Road, Fairfield, New Jersey. Now, I need to get this off my chest. I remember back in the 70s, my parents had some plates and they had Hummels and stuff like that. I don't remember plates being a big thing back in the 80s, 90s, and 2000s, leading up to 2008. When did plates become even remotely fashionable? I don't know. Yeah, because I'm thinking about it. and Actually, I'm, I'm seeing my grandmother's house, and she had like the annual Hummel plates from, oh gosh, I want to say the early 70s, all the way up to probably she passed uh, about 30 years ago. She probably had every plate up to like 1988 or so. And, and she had them hanging on her wall. So obviously there, there's a market for plates, but again, yeah, I, I know my grandmother had these Hummel plates, but like nobody I've ever known besides her ever collected plates specifically between again, the late eighties and the late two thousands. So why? I'm, I'm, I'm shrugging my shoulders. I don't get it. Because My dad it... has the same plates, I think. Because this is an historic occasion, Mike. It, it's a historic occasion, but they're plates. I'm, I, I, I don't get it. The best part was the electoral vote totals. Yeah, like Obama 349 became like 170 something. Undetermined 27. We're like going- that matters. <laughs> they, they couldn't wait like two or three days to get the final official vote. They couldn't wait two to three days to find out the results in Missouri. We gotta get this printed right now, folks. We have 65 they have firing stay, days. They literally struck while the iron was hot, guys. Yes, literally. And my favorite is is the couple. Like this will be a cherished family heirloom for generations to come. Really, really, this, this plate's going to be generations, a- Greg. Generations, generations are going to cherish this plate. Now, now you see, I could see this being sort of cherished if they actually did a collection of all the presidents, e- even we know who. Oh but- wait, you mean you mean. Mr. Black. I, I get it's an important event, but it's like th- th- there isn't like a follow-up plate. You know, maybe I, I don't know. You know, I, I haven't seen anybody trying to sell a Joe Biden plate since the election. Well, there was really no sort of appeal to Joe Biden. But you'd at least have appeal with Kamala Harris. Oh yeah. First oh yeah. That'd be a big deal, but Barack Obama, you got to understand, 2008 was like a story outside of politics. He transcended politics that year in 2008. Oh, it was yep. monumental, absolutely. It was, it was sort of a whole thing unto itself, the uh, 2008 election. And even more so when Barack Obama won it. It became this thing unto itself. It became this large rallying point like yes this is like in two, that night in 2008 we were like yes this is America we are atoning for our original sin of course we knew then what we you know now we would be saying ourselves such things and I'm not looking and I'm sure Chico is neither but I would just love to see how much these go for on eBay yes Certainly, because this is the way things work right now. Certainly, somebody got it up to themselves to buy two. You tell you buy two, and then he'll buy two, and he'll buy two, and he'll buy two, and we'll put them all on eBay, and we'll make a huge profit off of them. 
Okay, here it is. Here's because the... this is the age of the PlayStation Five. Okay, here's yeah, the... yeah, the, yeah. The, these Obama plates are going to be the new Dogecoin. Here we go. We have the plate on eBay. So okay, so this is going to be different. Okay, you're not bidding on the 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 actual price of the item. You're going to be bidding on the price of the item. Buy it now plus the shipping. Oh, the shipping. You're going to add the price plus the shipping. So this is going to be a first. So I'm going to start the bidding with you, Chico. $80. Mike. That seems to be a nice, reasonable middle. Okay, you know, I'm going to go the exact opposite because I think the reason you added including shipping is because the price is so low. So I'm going to go twelve ninety nine. Okay, the price of the plate is $25. And the shipping is $20, meaning the total is $45. Mike wins. $20 to ship that? $20 to ship it. And you're only getting a $5 profit off of it. That's not how you do eBay. And and also, if if you consider inflation, I'm sure it may be a losing proposition at that point. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's like whoever did this, I don't think they know how to do eBay right. No. Or shipping. I I mean, I couldn't see it being $20 to ship that unless $19 is like styrofoam peanuts to make sure it doesn't break. I wonder when they ever build the Barack Obama Presidential Museum in the library. I hope to God this will be in the museum. Well, I was actually in Chicago last year. I should have gone there. I don't, think they've been, I don't think they've fully completed it yet. Oh, my mistake. Well, that's yeah, why I didn't go there, obviously. Yeah, because obviously, don't presidential libraries usually take, like, years to finish when they get built? Well, you could put a, you could put a tarp over the uh, Tower of Mr. Black. Oh, I was going to say, it's really easy to make a library for him. You just go to uh, some... Uh, CVS and buy all the coloring books. Isn't that... No, that's for the other guy we just covered. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Well, what, what do you... I'm not going to ask. I, 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 I withdraw the question. Yeah, as you should. Well, the Barack Obama commander of gold plate in 2008, that was a thing on TV. And on your countertop... Ants on your wall. Yeah, damn straight. That's it for this episode. We'll have some more episodes for you later. Thanks for listening.